All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Kalia and friends. That's right, we are finally playing a Kalia deck here in Standard. This is going to be my first time playing the Zenith Seeker, and this one looks pretty sweet. All right, so if you don't remember what Kalia does, so three mana, three, three flying vigilant creature, uh, similar to Mantis Rider, if you, if you are familiar with Mantis Rider, except for... Uh, no no haste. So instead of having haste, you get whenever Kalia enters the battlefield, you look at the top six cards of your library. So kind of like Collect a Company. And then you can reveal an angel, a demon, and or a dragon from among them and put them into your hand. So only one, one of each, but you but you can get one of each. So Kalia could draw three cards um, at the most if you hit an angel and a demon and a dragon. This specific list that we're playing here with Kalia... This was from this past weekend's uh, standard premiere event on Magic Online. A Magic Online player named Heroes Downfall went 6-1 and one in the premiere event, which is a very good record, with this 75. And so we got to try it out here. Because <clears throat> you all know me, I've played these angels so much. I, I am a big fan of all sorts of angel decks. And um, yeah, this is the... This is a, a different kind of angel deck here with the Kalias. So as you can tell, we are mostly angel-based with us having um, the 12 angels in here. So Kalia is most of the time probably going to be just drawing one card. You know, we're probably going to be drawing one angel. You know, if we're looking at six cards of our library, that's like 10% of the library. And we have 12 angels, which is more than 10%. So we're, we should be drawing like one card most of the time. So three mana, three, three flying vigilant draw card. But then we also have, um, we have two demons in here, Bells and Lock and Doom Whisperer. <clears throat> and we have two dragons with the Skargan Hellkites. So there'll be times where we get to draw two or draw three if we're very, very lucky. But you know, so most of the time draw one, but there'll certainly be times where we draw two. Um, we got Bishop of Wings to play defense on the ground. Things a good a good option here, and since we have so many angels, every angel that enters, we're going to be gaining four life, and it's just going to kind of sit around and play some defense for us and let our aerial attack um, finish games off. We got Soren uh, that can bring stuff back and everything. Soren seems to work really well with Kalia, um, being able to minus and bring back Kalia when Kalia dies and still sticking around. So this looks to be a pretty sweet deck here. All right. So let's give this a try. I'm going to go ahead and just, with us, uh, trying this out for the first time. We're going to be uh, playing it over in the traditional constructed queue. Let's, let's send it over here and let's see how it does. So <clears throat> play until we either win at five or lose two. Who's our profile? A Johnny? Hmm. We need an angel, a demon, or a dragon. Let's knock them dead. Let's go Rakdos. I haven't done Rakdos in a long time. Every time I use Aurelia, I feel like we we have a bad league. I don't know. I just always struggle with Aurelia. So here we go. Kalia and friends. That's what I'm calling the deck. I can name decks whatever I want. Because I'm an adult. Hey, what's up, Radical Guru? Uh, no, Kalia is not an angel. Kalia is a human that has angel, demon, and dragon aspects. And the Duke with the resub. Thank you so much, Duke. Let's get some hype votes in the chat. There we go. Our first sub of the day. Ooh. Well, I like Godless Shrine, Godless Shrine, Tithe Taker, Resplendent Angel. We don't really have red mana. How are we doing on red mana in here? Four, five, six, seven, ten, fourteen. We have fourteen red sources. So if we keep this, we have to draw one of 14 cards. Otherwise, we just basically lose. That doesn't sound like a very good option. 
Once more again. I wanna, oh, I guess we do have double red, don't we? With Hellkite. So I guess we'll put back the Swamp. All right, I would like a three drop. Like Resplendent Angel. Or Kalia. I think that's Flash. Kalia Zenith Seeker. Nope. Well, four score and seven angels ago. Playing, just having like only four mana sorcery speed creatures against the flash deck. <laughs> this is not a good hand against flash like at all. <laughs> well. Darn. I was hoping Bishop would get countered. No, this does this is not gonna this this does not seem like a game like where we're gonna resolve anything. Let's start with you. She has the the worst the lowest toughness. Well we need to start trying to resolve the angels now. Maybe if we draw another white source, I can go Bishop, Kalia. Maybe they just have a bunch of the double green cards in their hand. Wow. I didn't really want to shock. Boo. I feel like I'm if I'm them, I'm just activating Spectral Sailor there and drawing a card and then casting Unsummon on my turn. Okay, okay. It's not bad. Silly unsummons. There's a bunch of lands. Well, Kali has a sweet animation. So that's worth it. So 
So if they have a counter spell, we die no matter what, right? So like, might as well throw out our, our best creature against a counter like if they don't have counter spell. So this is basically the worst possible deck you can be playing against the flash deck. Um, a deck filled with expensive creatures that don't even have ETB effects. That's not a good one. Not a good one at all. I guess we're going to play Chandra and just try to get cheaper spells in here. Eh. Eh. Um, Flame Sweep could honestly do some work. Grasp is awesome against Ambusher, but not really anything else. Need more tithe takers. Prison Realm seems really expensive. And sorcery speed. Just give me lava coil. It's just same thing but cost two instead of three. Alright, running out of time. Gonna hit submit. I wanna start taking out some of the Bishop of Wings because they don't really seem like they're gonna do anything. Yeah, Duress would be a nice one to have. There are certainly times where the Flash deck just has instants. Or sorry, just has creatures, sorry. And then you don't have the things to Duress. Okay, well, I do like having Coil Rampage Strike. I'm gonna try keeping this. White as far as mana goes, is the, the color that we have the most sources of. We have 18 white sources. Let's just, let's go ahead and keep this. <laughs> we're going to be playing the flash deck up next, though. I can't be too mad at it. But we're going Soul Tie, because I want to play a bunch of Dire Fleet Poisoners. That card's cool. Basic forest to start with. You don't see that often. Hmm. So I guess the only thing that that counters Tithe Taker is Essence Scatter. And we have Soren. We'll go ahead and play it. Because playing around Syncopate there. I wonder if they have Cutthroat. And they let Tithe Taker resolve thinking they were going to Cutthroat at end step. That's not a good trickster at all. I did not stop this fight. But I will f the weak feed the straw. If I had two wide, I would have played a Resplendent Angel instead of Soren. <laughs> You're working up my appetite. I abhor my need for blood. Uh, 
All right, so do we want to strike that trickster, or do I just want to flame sweep here? I think I'm just going to flame sweep. Having the Tithe Taker die really isn't that big of a deal, considering we have the Soren that just brings it back next turn. Yeah, we'll get our Spirit. Save Lightning Strike. Alright, well, I was just looking at the deck list, I was skeptical about playing Basic Mountain and Basic Swamp. And now I'm really, really skeptical of playing Basic Mountain and Basic Swamp. I can certainly say that that's my least favorite part of the deck right now is Basic Mountain and Basic Swamp. Do I let them counter Resplendent Angel? What what actually counters Resplendent Angel? I guess just Essence Scatter again? So obviously Syncopate doesn't. They don't have Frilled Mystic. I guess it's worth it. And that keeps them from playing anything to attack the Sorin. And then I just bring it back with Sorin. Oh, I guess he has Sabotage. Sabotage, tr that's true. I demand. And Tithe Taker Soren is sweet. Maybe get this other Soren in here. It's just going to be hard to resolve Soren. But I guess resolving Soren is really sweet. Um, all right, so now Bishop of Wings versus these other cards. Like, is, is Soren better than Hellkite? The third Soren or the first Hellkite? I guess Hellkite's probably better than Aurelia. The third Soren or Aurelia? Nah, maybe just two Soren. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be... Yeah, the Orzhov Sacrifice deck, I, I'm definitely going to be putting four Tithe Takers in that deck instead of the other two drops that that deck has. Uh, whatever the name of that other... The Death Touch Afterlife creature, I'm taking that out for, for Tithe Takers for sure next time I play that deck, which will be soon. Maybe tomorrow. I've been wanting to play that Orzhov Sacrifice deck again. Um, I don't really like Bishop of Wings that much, but I don't really like... Noxious Grasp either. Oh well, we'll just go with Noxious Grasp. We'll just go, we'll just go like this again. Why not bring back the Angel? I, I'll still be able to bring back the Angel the next turn. I think that having the Tithe Takers out first was worth it. I'd still be able to bring back the Angel the next turn. So I don't have anything that's double black now. I've sideboarded out the double black cards. Doom Whisper, Bells, and Lock. 
But white is a really important color to have between Bishop of Wings, your Splendid Angel, and everything. So I think I'm actually ditching this Dragon Skull Summit. So we just have all the white mana. I guess we want two red sources if we're going to have these things. All right. Let's get rid of the planes. Hey, WQ. Don't really have a good plan here. Don't really have any plan at all. Ooh, okay. I'm getting stuck on mana. This has got to be a good trade, right? That cut there is just going to get so big. It turns on Frilled Mystic, but we don't have anything to play anyway. They would have had Frilled Mystic turned on the very next turn. What's up, Matthew? Exclamation point deck is not correct. I thought I fixed that earlier. I guess not. Thanks for letting me know. They're going to get a wolf. They got a 2-2, two, two. I have a 1-1. One, one. 
We fought through a lot of their good cards, though. We've gotten through two Nightpack Ambushers and this Awakening of Itsukazi. So hopefully we can draw one of our big cards. We haven't seen any. Nope. Yeah, that's certainly bad for us. They scry to the top. But yeah, as you can tell, like we, our only creature that we've drawn this entire game is Tithe Taker. You know, drawing a, a Lyra Dawnbringer. Something would have been really nice, but it's that's likely a counter spell if they're keeping it on top. Hopefully not. Maybe it's another trickster. No, Galia. I don't want any of these cards anyway. Except for that Chandra. So they go back in a random order? Yes, they do. Interesting. Whatever card they kept on top, they didn't play it at all. What is going on here? Must have been Cutthroat that they kept on top. Seven. Darn it. Wish I would have played that Sacred Foundry now. Okay, okay. Uh, not good enough. I need a Lyra. What if I had Ritual of Set here? Or Kaya's Wrath? My opponent's saying good game and I just destroyed all creatures. We got into the top deck war, and our opponent top decked a little better than we did. <laughs> I don't think I've ever ever done that. The at two life, and I'm just conceding, and instead of conceding, play the shock land to shock myself. I don't think I've I don't remember ever doing that. I know some people say that yeah, I should just just play the shock land there. Well, this is a good uh, hand to have against a bunch of little 1-1s, one these Bishop of Wings. It's a little hasty. I guess light up the stage. Makes sense. Skewer. What are you doing with that attack? Next turn, you can attack. I gotta save Prison Realm for Chandra Spitfire. Alright, we need to draw red mana. Hey, what's up, good brother? Good afternoon. Yep, this is a Cavalcade deck. Guess they thought that I would have blocked. Alright, down to nine. Find us an angel, Kalia. We need an angel. Any angel will do. We need one angel. All right, we got an angel. Let's take this one.
Yeah, Kalia is a is a human that has angel, demon, and dragon wings. So yeah, no, she doesn't count as an angel herself. She has parts of angel, demon, and dragon inside of her. <sighs> Won't lie, I'm a pretty great pyromancer. Oh, conceited. Yeah, that would be cool if she was all cre all of those creature types. An angel, demon, dragon, human. That could make her too good, though. If she was a, a human angel... Demon Dragon. Because then your Kalias always find Kalia plus other things also. That might be too good. Unclear. So we don't have any... Oh no, we have Mortifies. Okay, so we have a little bit of enchantment removal. I was looking, I was like, do we, do we not have any enchantment removal? Alright, we're getting these Prison Realms out. We'll just have Ritual Set, Flame Sweep. Probably want to keep the Lightning Strikes. Let's take out Bells and Lock. Bring in the extra Soren. Maybe play some Coils instead of some of these 4 drops. Or 5 drops. Coiling their, their, their creatures isn't really... I guess if they have Chandra Spitfire. We really want Coil for Chandra Spitfire, I suppose. Yeah, the Spitfire is a problem. No, Realm only hits creatures and planeswalkers. All right, so what are we going to take out? The Whisper of Doom. And definitely want to keep Shalai in here. Is Tithe Thicker any good in this matchup? I guess it kills two of the one ones. Hellkite seems kind of good with that, that activated ability and stuff. Could be wrong there. Alright, I'm fine cutting those. I think keeping all the angels with the Bishop of Wings is probably the most important thing. I'm thinking Chandra's too slow at six mana for a board wipe. It's probably too slow. We got Flame Sweep Ritual sets. It's probably good enough. Like Chandra's not a card I want to see in my opening hand. If we like make it to turn six, and you know like we're still alive because of all the other things, and then we top deck a Chandra, that would be cool. But that's like you know having a Chandra in your opening hand is basically just a mulligan. Man. Well, this hand is, like, perfect if we just draw lands. Let's give it a try. We just have to... We're on the draw. We just have to draw, like, basically only lands. We got we got everything. We got this great curve. Preferably a shock land. Though. But I, I guess I can't complain. I didn't say shock lands. Xenovoid, thanks for the cheers. Yeah, opponent with the, the one lander. Getting us. 
One land, one power, one toughness. That's all they need. All I need is one land, one power, and one toughness. Block. Why can I not choose this? Thank you. <laughs> what, what can you imagine what they could do with two lands? Probably get two power. Is this like a new thing that like you just can't block? There it goes. It's a recent bug. All all week? I had I didn't notice it all yesterday or any other day. I have to click on the ground first. Got to do some ground pounding. Get Mario out here. I would assume that's game. Uh oh, two lands. No fry. Good. We're not at McDonald's over here. We ain't got no fries. One and one. Hey, <laughs> you thought I was the one with the greedy keep there? <laughs> yeah, what does this look like? A drive through? We got no fries. Hey, what's up, Yud? Royal Flush. All right, let's see what we got. It's not, it's not great. It's not the worst thing that I've seen though. On the play, I would definitely be shipping this, but on the draw, we have three draw steps to draw one land, which is like, you know, super likely. So we're probably going to have like the third land, then we start playing stuff. There's the cards in our deck. Hey, Mad Cow. I uh, gotcha. Well, yeah, I hope, hope you like the dino deck. I, yeah, so that's what I, I took some time, you know, like that day to, and as you can tell, I changed up some, some good stuff, or changed up some stuff with it and everything, and that's that's the deck I'd recommend uh, for your nine-year-old there. And so yeah, hopefully you're able to watch the video and everything there. Hey, we are more. Thanks for the kind words and I'm glad you're here. Glad you're enjoying the YouTube vids. <laughs> the third land is a myth. Do you think our opponent can beat three mana? I guess the three man doesn't really matter, but do you think our opponent can just beat three three flyers? Probably not, right? Hmm. Maybe they can. Yeah, well, yeah. I definitely need to do some more stuff with that mono, the mono black, uh, the dread deck for sure. Yeah, because we, we didn't, you know, we only played a couple of matches with it, and dread presence is really sweet. I like. I like me some Dread Presence quite a bit. So yeah, definitely need to do some more of that deck. Um, okay. It's possible they're just going with Incubation Druid. Here. I want to... want to, like, maybe if we draw, like, two more lands, we'd get to have our other Splendid and Tithe Taker. I want to be able to have Tithe Taker... Oh, they're not activating Incubation Druid. Alright, well, we should probably block. 
So we're going to be dying. I don't think I can just sit there and take that three damage the rest of the game. And that's lethal there with the adapting of the druid. That's lethal there. All right, well, it looks like... Looks like we found a big time weakness to the deck. Frilled Mystic. I think our removal needs to get get updated. These prison realms are just not not really acceptable. Playing three mana sorcery speed removal these days. <laughs> you got it, Party Buzz. Yeah, this is this isn't a McDonald's over here. This is a concession stand. <laughs> um, oh yeah, Bedevil. Well, I guess we are pretty white heavy, but yeah, Bedevil seems like a lot better card than Prison Realm. I don't think Prison Realm's, like, kind of good, like, at all. Hmm. Maybe I put in like too much removal last time. What if we keep more creatures like this? I don't know. Um, it's possible I'm keeping the curve too high. I don't think enchantment removal is really where you want to be in a world of Teferis. <laughs> oh, I think Xenovoid. This is our deck. We'll give it a try. They got a slower one. Kalia coming in. Sweet animation. Uh, let's go with the Resplendent Angel. <laughs> Thanks, Kalatakis. Yeah, so far this, this animation for Kali is awesome. That's been like certainly one of the really cool things about the deck. Hmm. I think we got enough lands. It's the the problem with Nightpack Ambusher Frilled Mystic. If we don't play anything, we're just allowing them to play Nightpack Ambusher, which I can't really race, so we have to like play stuff into Frilled Mystics. 
Hey, Telstar. Oh, seal away? Yeah, no. Just cast down. Cast down is just better than seal away. Every single one of these surveils have been just keep on top. Every single one. <laughs> it's not that, yeah, it's not that uh, warm here. Whisperer. <laughs> played the Kalia first because if we hit an angel that cost four or less, it would have just played the angel instead of playing the Tithe Taker. Hey, Lolly Egger. Darn. One short of the double spell. <laughs> so we'll just play the one they know about. Let's make it easier to double spell with whatever we draw. Ooh. We're whispering some dooms in there. Uh, least favorite card ever. So I mean, we can we can play Aurelia and Resplendent Angel. Is that worth it? Or do I keep on surveilling? Let's keep surveilling. Let's look for removal. All right, keep the Mortify, and yeah, we'll have that Hellkite there too. That looks good. Yeah, they got, yep, they're a flash ramp deck.
So the big problem here is Trickster, or if they have another steel effect. Basically, they, they have to have Trickster or another steel effect kind of thing, or maybe they, you know, they could have like another 1-1 to chump or something. But alright, there we go. Certainly glad we have the Noxious Grasps in there. We'll play these ant, ant grass round pages over the Bishop of Wings. Yeah, I mean, I, maybe I should be playing Fry. I, Fry was perfectly fine for me the first time. I'm playing. I'm trying to play like a little less removal though, and Fry not killing. Like, you know, the cards that the card that I'm mostly worried about is the Nightpack Ambusher, of course. But seeing them have Nissa also, like those are the cards I'm really worried about. We haven't seen Brineborn Cutthroat yet from them, but that doesn't mean that they're not playing it. Well, I'll keep this. I'm pretty old, Leo. Wow, no lands. This is good for us. Let's just keep hitting land drops. Go towards Chandra. I mean, we don't have anything to play right now anyway, but I, even if we did, I wouldn't be playing anything because I wouldn't let them be able to cast their spells and you know counter anything. Because we just want to make them go to discard. Us not drawing any lands is not good. We need to draw lands, not these other cards. Alright, and yet again, we've certainly learned that basic mountain, basic swamp are pretty horrendous. There are worse cards in our deck. <laughs> this is not the first time that I can't cast... Um, can't can't even cast Resplendent Angel because because I have both the basic mountain and the basic swamp out here. Where's our lands? I'll, f I'll fix the mana base afterwards, Rx Jelly. I'm playing the list how it was. But yeah, we'll... we'll uh, like I always do at the end of the league. Take a look at things that I would like to change about it. If they would have countered that, I would have played Kalia. They didn't. Yay. Land and white mana. So 
So worst case scenario, of course, is night pack ambusher here. I know who I am, and no one is telling me. But that's still not killing the Chandra. Is it just me, or is it getting a little warm in here? Well, that's spicy. All right, let's get rid of all those. Sweeping up some flames. I think Resplendent Angel is better. Oh, that is. That's something else. That's really annoying. My well, plan here is just to play Resplendent Angel, but now I kind of want a Noxious Grasp with this Incubation Druid. Because it's just triple land destruction. But let's say let's say I do Noxious Grasp the Incubation Druid, and then they untap and play. They draw land. They play land. Play Nissa. I think I'm okay against Nissa. That's yeah. That's the worst case scenario for us. We won't be doing great, but I think we're not bad, though, with being able to play these things. That, I mean, we may lose if that's like their plan. Yay! Well, now I I really like where we're at. <laughs> no pressure. Three emblems. All right. Was there a reason to cast anything that last turn? Yeah, like they hadn't played that many land drops yet. Yeah, if I don't, if I just pick up uh, Chandra and I don't play anything, let's see, two and one. I guess they only had the two mana, so they, like, Brineborn Cutthroat was, like, the scariest thing they would be playing. To pressure Chandra. I think it's still worth it to play stuff. Oh, I don't, oh, I, I hadn't, I hadn't even looked at labeling anything over here, actually, Lord. I just started with the Kali and friends. I am going to be playing the Sultai Flash in ranked for sure. And I'm not sure about the other two decks yet. I'll take a look at them, see how I'm feeling. Wait, I shouldn't have 0-0 zero, zero yet. We're not playing that deck yet. 
Oh, and honestly, I was thinking I should probably have like a star here for like whatever deck I'm currently playing. I put a star there. That actually sounds kind of good. I'm going to start doing that. Just whatever I decide, organic chicken, I guess. Um, decks that I decks that are like new that I haven't played before that I'm not sure if they are good or not. I usually take the usually play those in the competitive event. Decks that I am more confident that they are that they're strong or decks I've been playing, I play those over in ranked usually. And then, yeah, donation decks, I basically always play those over in the the constructed event. I know 88 meditate and prepare. This is not a Bishop of Wings matchup, or a Shalai Lyra matchup. This is not an Angel matchup. Don't really imagine us winning this. Yeah, I can't really see us possibly winning this. Like they would have to have like such a terrible hand. Gideon Blackblade is very good against Esper. And other Thought Erasure decks. Esper's Main form of removal with Tyrant Scorn, Little Teferi, Dispark, all that, those cards, uh, Hostage Taker, you know, Gideon dodges all those kind of things and pressures the other Planeswalkers. Hey, Kalthasos. Kalthasos. Wait. Kalthos. Mm. Kalthalos. There we go. Took me a little bit. Keltalos. Hi. Keep an open mind. I won't be in this game for very much longer. I was the first person that pronounced your name right. It wasn't one that rolls off the tongue.
This is possible to double spell with Kalia. We hit like Kalia Resplendent. Talents are worth cataloging. All right, Damio ends the game. All right, so we're gonna have I don't I don't think I mean I I still like Lyra. I don't I don't think that just because there's Fry in the format that can't play Lyra. Ooh, we are not beating Nexus. We are not beating Nexus. This is not a very good... Angrass Rampage is not a very good card to have in this matchup because of... Uh, Tamio says that you can't... Tamio keeps you from sacrificing stuff. All right, this deck is really not built to try to beat Nexus at all. But that's okay. Sometimes you just have to dodge different decks. Hmm. Basically, Shalai, Seraph, Lyra, Doom Whisper, Hellkite, none of these cards, none of those cards are really any good. Soren, and obviously we don't, we don't have like anything else in our sideboard that's any good either. So like, we're just going to play this and hope, oh, I got to put another card in. Here, I guess you. And just hope, I don't know. Uh, we get to six, like our opponent has to have a really slow hand. Maybe we get to play Big Chandra and give them an emblem and the emblem kills them or something. Hey Baldur, it's going good. I don't I don't know the deck that you're referring to. A, a night deck? I don't know of any night deck. How how would this kind of deck be able to counter Nexus? The cards that we'd want we'd want like like one not playing duress is pretty odd, but uh, as far as removal goes, Dispark is one of the best removal spells. Because of its versatility. Train harder. And, and able to get rid of Reclamation, Tamio. Those who cannot perceive me, I have just the trick for this. Wow, they missed twice with Narset? Mighty warrior, I concede. All right, what's the deck's first impressions? Um, my first impressions is that a couple of things: the mana base is a couple of cards off. The basic mount and basic swamp are generally somewhere between horrendous to unplayable, somewhere in that realm. The uh, that and then the Mardu callers have just 
a very wide variety of removal spells that you want to be playing. You know, here, you know, like we have Prison Realms, Mortifies, Noxious Grasp, Lightning Strike in Hand. There's a ton of other interaction spells that you can be playing. And the the specific spells that we have here I would say are, are generally I would rate them as below below average and that they can be upgraded. I think I've been very underwhelmed by these removal spells, specifically like Prison Realm. And I think that they they could be much upgraded. Uh, besides that, didn't use their mana at all, not even for Blast Zone or nothing. I would like to test a new hypothesis with you. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. <clears throat> Besides that, uh, Bishop of Wings hasn't looked good at all. What do they name? I guess, sorry, I was, I was going to be talking there, but there wasn't Nexus. Do they name, do they name Nessa? Oh, they named Reclamation? I wish we had one more damage on our opponent than what we currently have. Because of haste, tall kite. Well, buffing resplendent angel costs six mana, and that is not the thing to be doing when there's a Tamio in play. Hmm. Must end. I don't know if I want to play Tithe Taker or hold up Noxious Grasp, honestly. Honestly, unsure. I'll go Tithe Taker. Like the main reason to be playing Tithe Taker here, of course, is because Haste Hellkite can threaten lethal next turn. So that's what we're going to do. Yes, the mana... Gosh, Prison Realm, you're horrible. I think you will find my notes helpful. Um, yes, the striking the Paradise Druid is certainly more important than doing three damage to them. Oh, they can't. We have Tithe Taker. So I, w I, w I actually wasn't, like, I, th I think I wasn't actually going to play the Hellkite here because of, like, you know, Root Snare and everything. And I was actually thinking, like, if we play Hellkite and they have Root Snare, 
then that's just so bad for us with them having the Tamiyo. And I was like, well, I, I was thinking that I just had to bite the bullet and kill the Tamiyo. And then I and then I remembered, oh, wait, Tithe Taker, they can't actually have Root Snare. So Hellkite. Okay. Um, Angrass Rampage. I'm trying to Angrass Rampage away. Tamio will not lead to a good time. I don't think they have just a counter spell. I'm just destroying that right now. We'll see if we draw anything but a land this game. Nope. Four draw steps, four lands. Yeah, sweet life. At least they don't get to draw two cards with Chemisters in sight, I suppose. I have crafted meditate and prepare. Wow, they've whiffed three times on our set in a row now. Two last game, one's here. So know where all their lands are. I'm really glad my opponent cast that whenever they did. If they would have gave me priority one more time, I honestly may have just been activating Resplendent Angel there. I'm really glad they cast that when they did, and so I got to Lightning Strike the Narset to not let them impulse one more time. No. Well, maybe Resplendent Angel can raise that. Yeah, depends if they have more fogs. If they don't have more fogs, maybe we got that. Well, can't have a fog now.
We're one damage away from killing them next turn. One mana away from being able to activate Resplendent Angel and play Soren. Witness the ties that bind us all. To do the ten. Harness the elements. We would like to... Lyra Dawnbringer? Lyra Dawnbringer would do it. That's our card that kills them. Or another Lightning Strike. Yannick! Welcome back. Oh. How about another land? Why not? Hadn't drawn one of those in one draw step. Thanks, Yannick. We're one man away from having lethal. Honestly, kind of fine. Hope you don't mind. Hope you don't mind. No, you don't do any damage. So you don't gain any life with roots there. So, the Blast Zone's the card that's going to kill me. Now, I don't want my opponent to know that I have, like, the Soren that kills them. What are we supposed to do with 11 lands over here? We almost won that really tough matchup. We just had a couple more spells to help us out. We came pretty close. If it wasn't for the third root snare, honestly, if it, that's that's the that was the difference. The third root snare. Yeah, you know, if their hand, if their card in hand was just you know something else. Got our gold back. Um, the deck definitely has. A lot of holes, I would say. So first things I would do is just completely get rid of this Swamp Mountain. Those cards, 
those two lands were just not not any good. So we already have 18 white sources. I'm not even sure if that's enough. I think I'd want a Temple of Triumph to get a 19th and then just play another Dragon Skull Summit. That gets an extra red source because there's only 14 red. That gets 15 red, which red was a color that we were struggling with some. It's an extra red source and uh, it doesn't take out a black source. We still have the same number of black sources. We just replace Swamp with Dragon Skull Summit and we get an extra white source. Because when, when you're playing like Resplendent Angel and I guess Bishop of Wings also, when you're playing these cards, you need lots of white sources. Um... I wouldn't mind going. Yeah, I wouldn't mind going. Feather. And reckless rage. I wouldn't mind that. But we'll we'll I'll try just that would take like some other. Some other changing. I'll I'll just kind of change it if we weren't playing if we weren't doing that. First thing, the Tide Takers were just awesome. That card was really good. I want more of those. Less Bishop of Wings. I guess we didn't really play against too much aggro, but I think we're probably going to be okay against aggro anyway. Um, and I would just completely change this. Uh, this removal suite. Well, not completely change. Just get rid of these stupid prison realms. Wow, that card was bad. So if we get cat, a couple cast downs, how are we doing on black mana sources? Oh, there's only, wait. Sorry, I didn't even realize there wasn't four blood crypts. Get that fourth blood crypt in here before this Dragon Skull Summit. So we're at 14 for black, which would make Bedevil kind of tough. Um. So do we want just Rampage main? If we want something that can kill... We probably need something that kills Planeswalker's main. I think Contempt's going to be a little too expensive. I'm I'm worried about black sources with Bedevil. Maybe it's just Rampage. How's that look? Basically, all I did there was just switch up their... I just changed the, the numbers of Tithe Taker and Bishop of Wings. Tithe Taker looked like a lot better card. But I can understand wanting a couple Bishop of Wings against the aggro decks and, like, you know, the whole life gain stuff. I, I can understand it. So, like... But I don't think you want four of this card. I, I think I'd rather have four of this card. So just switched up those two and just basically changed up the removal so far with the main deck. We'll, we'll worry about the sideboard here in just a second. Um, bells and lock. Honestly, I wouldn't. I wouldn't play bells and lock. I, I that card's not not that good. Let's see what else we have. Demon dragon. Let's get another five drop in here. There's there's other good demon dragons and stuff. Like I think doom whisper is going to be better than bells and lock most of the time, especially with it only costing five instead of six mana. Do not want Rakdos. Like, I'd, I'd rather have a second Doom Whisperer than Bells and Lock. Yeah, Doom Whisperer is perfectly fine, especially if we're gaining life with some of our other things and we can pay, li pay life to Surveil. So it's three mana Demon. And there's a 1-1 encounter for each mana cost among non-land cards in your graveyard so a few things about this double black on turn three is pretty rough playing this on turn three just in general is pretty rough it's going to be a zero zero one one or maybe two two 
not even two two. It'd just be like a zero zero or like a one one basically all the time. So like this this card you would it'd basically only be like later on in the game on like turn six you can play like Kalia or a Splendid Angel and this embodiment of Agonies and that's where it would uh, help you out. But it would not be a card you'd want to have early. Um yeah, this this main looks looks better to me. I think this is what I would try for the main deck next time. I do like Mortify. Um I'm I'm fine with playing a couple Shalai, a couple Seraph, a couple Aurelia. I'm fine with that. Alright, sideboard. Yeah, I'm I'm fine with that main. Okay, let's see what we got here. Flame sweep was honestly pretty good, and definitely understand ritual of soot against the Nissa decks. Prison realm is just the worst. So I want some to sparks. Should this deck be playing Coil instead of Strike? I do like the Strike hits Planeswalkers. That was certainly useful. So if we have Noxious Grass, Fry. What else did I want in the sideboard? Duress, right. I think Noxious Grasp is a better card than Fry. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I was already talked about like the feather thing. That would yeah, that would definitely change the deck up. But you could you could go feather and reckless rage and stuff like that. Also, I'm not sure if we need like one flame sweep and two ritual of soots. We want a Legion's End in here. Um, maybe we don't need the Coil. I mean, Flame Sweep was fine for us, but that was kind of because of like what we were. I don't. I don't think I'd want to play it, but it was fine for us. Yeah, Soren's mostly here for the 3-3 three, three Angels. Could make a Legion tribal deck. Legion Warboss, Legion N, Legion Air, Knight of the Ebon Legion, Dusk Legion Zealot, Legion's Landing. What if I made a Legion tribal? That could be a cool little deck. Um, anyway, anything else you want to change here? <laughs> Legion's not a type, I know. Black Finale. Black Finale. Black Finale over Ritual. I don't know. Cyborg probably like Cyborg could still use some more work after besides just this, but I think that's a, a decent spot to kind of go. Um maybe I think I'd want another mortify instead of one of these coils. I don't think we need two coil. Instant speed removal is very valuable, especially versatile instant speed removal and you know does destroy enchantments and everything. No, so far is not a consideration. This deck never has four flyers in play. That's just not a thing that ever happens. Well, 
you having four flyers in play and then also not killing the opponent. That's not that's not something that ever happens. Um, we're going to be playing Safara later with the Azoria Skies deck. That's Safara is the kind of card that you need a whole lot of one mana flyers to be able to get it out. Ben and Donner, thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. Another donation deck? Absolutely. Thanks. Um, I think this is what I would go with. Let's see, Oath of Kaya? No, this doesn't really need Oath of Kaya, right? Yeah, I would I would I would try I would try this the next time. I'll go ahead and upload this to Stream Decker also. If you're looking for a Kalia deck, I would I would definitely recommend going with this for the next time. And and maybe the cyborg needs a little bit more work. Um Kothis costs green mana. We'd have to We'd have to change the deck up quite a bit. All right, so I'll export that over there. But there we go. Um, I guess I should finish up the YouTube video here. So Kalia was honestly Kalia was was just fine. I liked playing. I liked Kalia. Awesome animation too. But it's not. It's not it really an, that much of an underpowered card. I liked it, and Mardu has a whole lot of good anime or sorry, a good interaction. That's the word I was looking for. A whole lot of good interaction. We just kind of find the right pieces to be playing, but yeah, Mardu Kalia, Kalia and friends, give it a thumbs up, but uh, yeah, recommend trying out this updated version here. All right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed the video, hope you enjoyed the deck, so don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there, but thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.